The Budweiser's back. Hi, a bit about troubleshooting. All pests want the same thing. They want the sugars that, that are made from chemical energy of the sunlight. Um, the things we all live on. Um, I wanted to alert you to the fact that there's going to be some pests in your life if you're, if you're dealing with plants, whether it's a rose or, or a cannabis plant. Um, organics draw pests. Uh, spider mites, thripes, different uh, almost microscopic type of pests that can really drain the, the uh, life's energy from your plant. On occasion, you have to fight back. Um, thrips, spider mites, um, some of these can be handled by, for instance, ladybugs, which is a great way to go, and non-toxic. On occasion, you have some real problems. Um, Azamax is put up by um, General Hydroponics, which is as strong um, a substance as I've used, uh, an insecticide, um, miticide. Um, I prefer, and with less important um, or less stressful uh, um, ailments or infections, um, OG Bio Wars. Um, these are microbial um, substances that come on talc that's easy to apply both to as a root drench and as a foliar feed. This you cannot use when you're in flower. Do not use that. This is, this is preventive maintenance. You could start your soil or in our case um, um, cocoa and do a light spray over the top when you first, before you even plant as a, as a protection from, for instance, thripes or spider mites. If you have a dog or a cat and you like to hike, the chances are you could very well bring in some of these pests. So it's something you're going to have to think about. There you have it. Okay, we're going to do some troubleshooting. This Monterey Garden Insect Spray has spinosad on it. This is a little more powerful than the, than the Azimax that I showed you. So you're going to whip up this. You probably will only need about a quart, but it comes in um, gallon instructions. But don't worry about that. You're going to do this. So we have just gone um, a couple of days ago into the screen of green, and this is getting very close to going into flower. So we'll be going 12 hours on and 12 hours off of light. Before you do that and start flowering, you need to really study to see if you have any um, in, insects, any kind of infestation whatsoever before you actually go to flower. And, and so this is what we're going to do. We're going to be spraying these, foliar feeding with, with the spinicide, this Monterey spinicide, on the bottom and top of the leaves, and you're really washing them this time, not just fogging like foliar feeding. And you want to also spray the stem because thrips will bore into the stem and lay eggs. So you'll do this in sequence once and then maybe five days later if you do have infestation. But um, you can do it for preventive maintenance before or just go ahead and do it. And while you're doing this, be sure you don't spray this up into the light.